if you're on a Windows computer and you're trying to install a program or change an important setting, you'll often get this window that appears that says, do you want to allow this program to make changes to your computer, yes or no? And this is caused by a security feature which is called User Account Control, or UAC. And most people find it rather annoying, but it's actually a very important security feature of the Windows operating system. So as you can see on this monitor over here, I'm running my instance of Windows XP and inside this instance I have opened up Notepad. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Notepad to save a text file. So I've typed in loads of very important text of course and now I'm going to want to save that file uh, somewhere. And because it's a very important text I, I thought I should save it in a very important location. So I'm going to save it inside System32. So in, in case you didn't know, System32 is a very important system folder in the Windows operating system and this is not supposed to be the place where you save documents but regardless of that I'm gonna save my text file here. So I'm just gonna call it uh, tech or test, well text is also possible, but I'm gonna call it test, there we go, and then I'm gonna click save there you go, it's done it, okay? Even though this is a protected folder and it's not supposed to be the place where you just save random text documents, it's done it. It saved this file into the System32 folder. This is because I've logged into this Windows XP instance with an administrator account, okay? So I'm logged in as administrator. And because I've logged in as an administrator, Notepad is also running with administrator privileges and therefore it is allowed to save this text document in a system folder like System32. But now let's try to do the same thing in a slightly more modern version of Windows which happens to be uh, Windows 10. Okay, So we're going to open up Notepad as well in Windows 10 this time. Okay, so as you can see, good old notepad, it hasn't changed at all. Uh, and now we're going to do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to type in the exact same text. I'm going to go to save as. I'm in the system32 folder, as you can see. Uh, and then I click save. Oh, wait a minute. It doesn't do that, does it? It says you don't have permission to save in this location, contact the administrator to obtain permission. Now, of course, I happen to be the administrator, so I just have to contact myself to give myself permission to do this. But it's kind of strange. It's strange because in Windows XP, in Windows XP, this wasn't a problem, okay? Now it is. And I am logged in as administrator in this Windows 10 OS. But despite that, even though I am administrator and I've logged in as administrator, I'm not able to save this file into System32. It's not allowing me to do it. So as you probably expected by now, this is because of User Account Control, or UAC. So UAC, what it does, is it makes sure that every program that runs, by default, runs with standard privileges. Okay, so even though I'm logged in as an administrator, when I run a program like Notepad, for instance, Notepad actually runs with very standard, very limited privileges and is not able to save something into a system folder. Therefore, I can't do it. So even though I've logged in as an administrator, programs don't necessarily run with administrator privileges. What I can do is I can... I can close Notepad, okay, there we go, restart it, oops, but now I right click it and I run it as an administrator, like that. So now this very well known window pops up and I click yes and now Notepad gets started with administrator privileges, okay, so I explicitly have to tell the operating system that I want to run this program with administrator privileges and now I can do it okay so I can type in oh, there we go 
save that. System32, I'm going to call it test. Bang, there we go. Save the file into System32, administrator privileges, there you go. So now, of course, the question is, why is this good? Because it just takes more effort to get something done. As you can, as you can see, we wanted to save this file into System32. I don't know why, but we wanted to do it. And it took more effort to get it done in Windows 10. Well, yes, in that sense, the Windows XP system does it better. But from a security perspective, the Windows XP way is absolutely awful. Because in Windows XP, when you log in as an administrator, that means every program that gets executed also runs with administrator privileges. And that's not so bad if it's Notepad and you're trying to save your very important text file. Uh, but it is quite bad if the program that gets executed is some, something malicious. Whereas in later versions of Windows with UAC, even when you log in as an administrator, programs don't automatically run with administrator privileges. Programs run with standard user privileges. And only when you explicitly tell the operating system that you really want to run something with admin privileges, only then will it be done which means that if a virus executes on my computer, even though I'm logged in as an administrator, for example, the virus doesn't get executed with administrator privileges and therefore can't do that much harm. Sure, it could ask for administrator privileges, right? It could attempt to run as administrator, just like I just ran Notepad as administrator, but when it does that, we get this pop-up that appears that tells us, you know, do you really want to do this? And of course, if we're just browsing the internet or checking our email, and suddenly a thing appears on our screen that says, do you want to allow this program to make changes to your computer, that, ranges, that raises our suspicion. So this makes it much more secure. Uh, so there you go. Now you know what UAC is, what it does, uh, and very importantly, why it's there. So don't turn it off. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and of course, thank you for watching.